Other news this afternoon, a pizza delivery driver was making what should have been a routine run to a house in Lincoln Park. What he didn't know is that it was a trap. Turns out the house was empty and there were four men waiting there to attack him. Larry Spruill picks up the story from there. Larry. Good evening, Devin. That driver tells me that he pulled up to this very spot, got out of the house with the pizza in his hand. That's when four men walked across the street and started attacking him and then drove off in his car. This whole interaction lasted five to 10 seconds. Michael Sabi recalls the brief moments four men attacked him at this home in Lincoln Park Monday night. Uh, the house itself existed, but they weren't at that house. They were across the street from it. It was these four men, and they're all younger than me too. Two of them I found out were juveniles, and they didn't even like explain to me what they wanted at first. They began tasing me and then said, give me all your money, and then started taking stuff from me. Local 4 obtained security video from neighbors showing the men running away, but not before they repeatedly punched Michael. As I was getting tased, I wasn't going down yet, so they started hitting me over the back of the head with their shotgun and opened up my head like four times. After that happened, they took my car, and they took off with my car. They had immediately taken off uh, down Pingree Street going southward, but they showed up on Southfield and they went to 75 where uh, I learned that that's where they began the chase. Police later found his car at a gas station. Meanwhile, he's glad to be alive. I've been in good spirits. I've been hanging in there. The worst part of the pain is already over. And he tells me that he has 18 staples in the back of his head, but he is expecting to be okay. We are live in Lincoln Park tonight. Larry Spruill. Local four. Uh, Larry, and where's the uh, investigation stand right now? Yeah, Devin, so I just talked with police and they tell me that they are still looking for the four suspects, but they believe that because of the multiple surveillance videos that they got from neighbors that they will be able to identify them soon and make an arrest. Yeah, Devin? Let's, let's hope so. All right, Larry.